Hey guys, this uh, custom media room in Garland, <clears throat> this one uh, posed actually a bunch of challenges for us. You're seeing the finished product here. Uh, let me go over some of these with you. Um, first of all and foremost, uh, you know, rooms that are pre-wired or rooms that uh, a builder might tell you were pre-wired, uh, not, not necessarily pre-wired, so you might want to ask one of us. Uh, as you can see down here in the corner, the front speakers were actually wired um, for floor standing speakers only. That doesn't give you any flexibility for aesthetics or or uh, changes of any kind um, <clears throat> and they're also very very wide they were like that on both sides the subwoofers in that corner there um, so what I actually proposed to the client was to uh, to be able to hide the equipment and um, and also be able to wire these front speakers I actually commissioned a as you can see here a a 14 and a half foot wide credenza which actually looks really good in the room it's got some doors the center channels housed in it the, uh, the subwoofer can be housed in it if we choose to. It's just a very powerful one, so I don't want it to rattle the doors. Um, it's got acoustic grill cloth on three of the doors there. Just a solid black cabinet that matches all of the rest of the trim in the room. Um, we, did, uh, we also did a 120-inch screen here, as you can see. It's not too big for the room. Sounds always like it's, uh, it's too big. These are in-wall speakers that actually have cabinets on them. Uh, they're some of my favorites. They're a Paradigm hybrid in walls. They actually have a cabinet on the back, but they do sink in the wall. They come off the wall about uh, about a half an inch or so still, uh, but they look and sound great. Uh, many options that I carry can do uh, something similar. The projector was another huge, uh, huge thing to tackle. <clears throat> First of all, they weren't wired for HDMI, so what we had to do is use a Balan, which actually transfers one single Cat5 uh, that they ran for IR and uh, transfers that into uh, HDMI by powering both ends. Um, kind of a complicated deal, but uh, we got it done. This projector is the first 3D projector by JVC, and as you can see there, those two little brackets on top that kind of stick up, the, the metal uh, shinier ones, those are actually a custom bracket that we had to make out of uh, metal and cut the metal and make arms because they don't actually make a bracket uh, or a mount for this projector at all. So. Uh, that was a huge thing to tackle for us, um, just because the the projector is so new and they change the whole pattern that they don't uh, they don't make that um, amount for that projector yet. So these are just uh, a couple of things that we do at Theater Vice that really set us apart. Um, you know, we don't uh, we don't tell the customer no, and we don't ever say we'll be back in two weeks because we ran into a snag. We just go to Home Depot and fix it. Um, speakers are actually painted black. I hand painted them myself to um, once again match the the trim in the room and whatnot and uh, you know all the trim in the room was painted black the room was painted brown um, and uh, that's about it paradigm um, Severson screens the uh, makers of IMAX and uh, JVC projectors some of my favorite brands I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please email or call with any questions